Okay, I'm going to ask this next question because this is sort of like this is like spring training. Like you, you know when when you start when it's the middle of winter and you start to see the spring training pictures, you you kind of start to feel warm. You're like, "All right, summer's coming." This question kind of makes me feel like that. It comes from Paul Kuchik in Wake Forest, North Carolina, and it is a preseason playing time question. Hey Mary Kay, what is the likelihood that we'll see Deshaun Watson play in the preseason, Kevin Stefanski tends to use the early regular season to work out the kinks. So essentially, do you think we'll see? A, and I, you know, this is an interesting question because they are work, reworking the offense too. Do you think we'll see Deshaun Watson more in the preseason than maybe we've seen starters in the past? You know what? I think so. I really think so. They've got four games. They've got four opportunities to let them go out and uh, and see what they can do when the live rush is on and when he will actually have an opportunity to kind of be running around and making some of those off schedule plays a little bit, uh, you have to weigh and balance that out against injury. Of course. I mean, the most important thing is to get to the regular season as healthy as possible, but I do think there's going to be something to be said this year for just a little bit more, uh, of playing time for Deshaun Watson in the preseason. And I think it's smart. It doesn't have to be a lot, uh, just a couple of series here and there. Uh, maybe a few series in each of the games, probably except for the last one. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's the right time and the right season to go out and do that. Yeah. And just working off Kevin's past, we've seen him do the dress rehearsal game. Um, he did it with Baker and, and he, he did it with, he did it with Jacoby last year. And then last year, of course, it was a little weird because they wanted to get Deshaun Watson some work with, you know, in the first preseason game. But yeah, I could see, you know, maybe in, you know, maybe nobody plays in the Hall of Fame game. I don't think anybody will play in the Philly game, but I don't know, maybe Watson plays a series in game two. And then, you know, maybe one of those games becomes a dress rehearsal game somehow. I don't know how it all work out, but yeah, I could see him getting some work in like two of the preseason games. Yeah, they need some live action. You kind of need to put it all out on the grass and see what it's going to look like. You don't want your first exposure uh, to that sort of thing to be in the opener. You just don't want that. You want, you know, some guys to, you know, feel the crunch of the pads. You want guys to take a hit. You want Deshaun Watson to be able to shake off the rust a little bit. Uh, you want to see how he has developed any kind of timing with some of his receivers. So I do think that they will, um, they will probably do that a little bit more. But I think that Kevin Stefanski, like he did last year, will put more stock into those Eagles practices than the preseason games because you can control uh, the contact. You can control what happens to your quarterback in those practices, and you can keep guys off of them. Whereas in the preseason games, once again, you've got a lot of young guys that are out there trying to prove themselves, trying to make a football team, trying to make a name for themselves, trying to show other teams, hey, if this team doesn't like me, maybe you guys will. So um, so I think you have to be cognizant of that. Um, but I think those two practices on August like 14th and 15th, I think they are, yeah, August 14th and 15th in Philadelphia uh, will be very pivotal in getting uh, the Browns ready to play the season and getting Deshaun ready to play. Uh, because it, they'll do some ones against ones. They'll do, you know, probably a fair amount of that. And that is one heck of a defense, right? I mean, that's a good defense. They've lost some guys. I mean, they've lost Javon Hargrave and, uh, you know, a number of, of other really, really good players on that defense. But that's one of those teams like the Steelers where they just, and the Ravens, where they just keep restocking their defense. They know how to draft for defense. They know what they like. They know what they want. Uh, they have a profile. Uh, they stick pretty close to it. And uh, they just keep funneling in really good guys. So I think that's going to be really meaningful work for Deshaun. And, and I also think.